Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is approximately 1045 in Honolulu, Hawaii. It is Monday, the 22nd day of August, and this is the daily report for gold. My God, we have gold on an absolute tear, absolute tear, as it runs towards another historical landmark, and that landmark that we're talking about, traders, of course, is 1900 That's right, $1,900 an ounce. Traders, I personally believe the market would go to 1900 I think it's going to 2000 and above, but I certainly didn't think it could do that in this kind of a parabolic rise. Traders, I am adding a new contract uh, to the report. You see them here on the left-hand side. This is our daily gold chart. This is COMEX and, and GLOBEX gold. The upper chart, this is a daily chart, and this is based on the December contract. Below it is a continuous chart, and traders, we are witnessing history. Here is our print. We have $1,900 gold, at least for the moment. $1,900 gold, 1910. My God, what a move in the market. I need to go back and to focus on what other things we want to talk about today. But quite honestly, as I look at this print, we have hit an absolute landmark. Of course, cash month trading, 1896.57, 60, that's our current print. And here's what I'm finding interesting. First of all, I, I'm trying to see, this is all new to me right now. By the time it goes out to you, it's going to be about a half hour old. But traders, this is the first time anyone has ever seen gold trading at 1900 my personal feeling is my personal feeling is the benchmark of this importance will not hold on this round let's see if i'm wrong because typically when we hit 1800 or 1700 or 1600 it will make a stab at it it'll go to maybe 1903 and it will back down to maybe 1895 we'll see together through the program but you can see this market's taking off we'll see if in fact it backs down now what are we looking at and how are we going to play our current position and for that we've got to go back to our cash month our 360 minute chart to talk about the different targets that we have had and how it has reacted at these various Fibonacci extension levels. Now, traders, for those that are new, I'm going to go over it, but it's good to look at it just in terms of a refresher anyways. Simply, what we did is we took our move that we saw in wave one. We then extended that to a Fibonacci extension at the beginning of wave five. So that's right here. So we've taken this move here, we've moved it to here, and the conclusion or the formula itself gives us some following values. The first value is a equal move, meaning if five and one are equal in terms of the price move, that would take you to 1849. 128, 123 percent extension 1878 1897 which is where we're at of course that move itself that you're looking at there is a hundred and thirty eight percent extension now here's what i'm finding interesting realize that these numbers were calculated back last week on my article for kitco.com on the 16th i said that we should see gold run to and what I said at that time was 1880. And where I got that number from is right here. This 1880 was that 123% extension. Now, as you can see, when this market came up, it closed above it. On the following day, it attempted to make a new high, but the high stalled right at this part, this 123% extension. So it came back down, it closes, but it closes with a strong level of support at this 100% level. So it tells us that it's still going to move higher. Then on the subsequent bars, realize you've got a six hour chart so that you have four per day. You get a, a base being formed. The following candle makes its high, but again, backs off. It then makes its high here and is able to close above it. Following candle, you get that doji, a pivotal point. I don't know if it's the market was quiet. It's the middle of the night. But as for right now, we have now gone and found resistance once again. But this resistance is now at the 138 extension level. Now, this video follows the buy signal that was issued yesterday. Traders were in at 1873. And I will tell you, it gets harder and harder as this market moves higher and higher to continually recommend that my clients buy gold at 
1800 or 1900 or 1700 but the fact of the matter is that the trades that we have put on have been extremely profitable why have they been profitable they've been profitable because we're not trying to buck the trend they have been profitable because we are using some sophisticated tools for entry even though we're only capturing percentages of the trade we are nonetheless correct each and every time we enter this market from the long side for those that send me emails that ask me why don't we short this market the answer is quite obvious because this market has done nothing but go up there might come a time that we consider that that time is not now traders I repeat that time is not now so what are we going to do and what is our current strategy well here's what I'm looking at it's a quite clear-cut strategy as you know I look to buy and then scale into strength as we see this market trade we want to see how it reacts in this area once we begin to get active closes above this particular area there is only one strategy that makes sense and that would be to add to the position and and begin to trail our stops up above these particular Fibonacci levels that is logical that makes sense where will this market end where will this market correct you know I cannot tell you that because what I can tell you is that I would not have believed or considered the movements that we have seen in this market I would have not anticipated them, them happening again so quickly again we have backed off to 1900 but we're at 1899.70 we're very very close but there is one particular pattern that is a candlestick pattern traders you can go ahead and google this and you should be able to find some information on it but what it is called is a bearish three gaps now on a bearish three gaps it is a runaway market that's a runaway market to the upside but has a series of what's called price void so you've got a price void here you get a price void here and when I say a price void you're not getting a pure price void because these tails are actually going into it this pattern in its purest form is an absolute price void so for that reason I don't know that this would be considered on a classical level that pattern but it was close enough that I thought it warranted us at least pointing it out and looking at it but the belief is is that once you have three price voids the markets run up so quickly so fast that you tend to get some sort of a pullback some sort of a correction some sort of an exhaustion pattern and the market will come back and backfill one or two of these gaps will that happen here traders I don't know but I can tell you this when we're looking at a market like we have now what I need to bring to the table for you my subscriber is every bit of knowledge I've accumulated over 25 years of trading because traders quite honestly in this market we need it this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review and God what a day we're having today $1,900 gold I can't say it enough bye bye many sights to see and when I look in my window so many different people to be that it's strange